going to do an exercise for American Mahjong using the National Mahjong League card. This exercise is called Random Pulls. The purpose is to practice identifying the strength in a dealt hand. If you're new to Mahjong or if you already know how to play and just want to build your skills, consider subscribing to my channel. That way you won't miss anything. We're going to do three random pulls. We'll be the dealer for the first one, so we'll get 14 tiles. Then we'll be non-dealer, so we'll get 13 tiles. And then we'll be the dealer again with 14 tiles. We have a joker. We have the dragons with a pair of white dragons. Then we have one, two, four, six, eight, nine in bams. We have a pair of three cracks and a six dot. If these were your tiles, what would you focus on and what would be your first pass? I would build around the multiples. We have a pair of white dragons and a pair of three cracks. So I would hold that. We could maybe do like numbers with threes, but we also have two sixes. If we build up a pair or any multiple of sixes instead, we could break these up. But there's equal potential for like numbers with dragons. So I probably would pass those three. We have a little number, a big number, and an even number. One, nine, four. If you would do something differently with these tiles, write pull one and what you would do. We have a joker, flower, red, dragon, and an east. In cracks, we have one, four, six. In bams, we have one, eight, nine, and then a pair of ones in there. We have a one dot and a nine dot. If these were your tiles, what would you focus on and what would be your first pass? If these were my tiles, I would build around the multiple. We have a one bam and we have ones, so we could maybe play like numbers with dragons. For example, we could play with these two and the red dragon, third hand down under like numbers. But we don't have to pick a hand because we have discards. I would let the east go and then probably one of the nines and then I would do one of each suit. So. We could maybe even do that for one of each suit. Let's pass those right there. Little number one suit, big number another suit, and then a wind. That's a really great pass. And even if we get everything we want, this is not a bad pass either for the next time. I would focus on ones and dragons if we get them. If you would do something differently with these tiles, write it in the comment section below with pull two. We have a couple of jokers, a pung of red dragons, a white dragon, two, three in cracks, four, seven in bams with a pair of fours, two, three, seven in dots, singles. If these were your tiles, what would you focus on and what would be your first pass?
If these were my tiles, I would build around the multiples, four and red. And then maybe keep two, three, because they're consecutive around a multiple. Two, three, four of some kind. That leaves two tiles to pass. I would not pass those, not together. So I would pass one of those and then let something go here. Since we have dragons, a white dragon there too, maybe keep the twos and let the threes go. But again, we have like numbers. So probably what I would do here is pass one of each suit. Two, three, seven. Gather tiles to support the multiples. And there are, are a number of hands we could play. Consecutive, evens. We could even maybe play a year hand if we build up our twos. So I wouldn't pick a hand, not till we run out of discards, but I would build around the multiples. If we get wins, we might even be able to do a quint. If you would do something differently with these tiles, write pull three and what you would do in the comment section below. American Mahjong is very flexible, but there are strategies that have been proven over time. The best strategy that I share is building around multiples. If you have a multiple, when you get your dealt hand, focus on the multiple, gather tiles that support it and play a category that uses most of your tiles. If you don't have a multiple, build around the predominant pattern. And then during the Charleston, if a multiple forms, reassess and build around the multiples. If you like this video, give me a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, consider subscribing. Click the little gray bell if you do. That way you'll get notification for when I post new videos and you won't miss an opportunity to learn a new strategy or pick up an insight to the game that could give you an advantage at the table. Between now and the next video, may all your picks be keepers.